please allow me to share that with you here. Christmas 1980 was the year that I received a gift of untold mystery and excitement that would ultimately chart the trajectory for my future career, the Commodore BIC-20. This amazing little device was able to transport me to worlds beyond my dreams, worlds that I could create, control, and type into existence. Learning to program that little machine opened up a fascinating world and a love for science, storytelling, and art. The short yet prolific 40-year history of video games offers some of the deepest, personal, and globally connecting experiences in human history. Of course, many games never aspire to be anything more than an adrenaline pump, where high scores rule and the loosest of narratives hold this, the game together. The common thread, regardless of intent, is that they are an amalgam of disciplines, storytelling, animation, music, and cinematography, whose sum is greater than its parts. This defines a new art medium that is beyond traditional definitions used in the art world. I find this fascinating and inspiring. Using the cultural lens of an art museum, viewers can determine whether the games on display are indeed worthy of the title art. Some visitors will encounter a game that transports them back to their childhood or gain insight into how games are made. My hope is that people who leave this exhibition leave with an understanding that video games are so much more than what they first thought. They may even be art. So I want to thank Betsy for her support and the trust that she placed in me to help deliver an exhibition that I believe is not only important to the world, but upholds the values of this museum. And while there are many people who were involved in this exhibition along the way, a round of applause for this Estonian staff. There are four people whom, without their dedication and determination, this exhibition would not be the amazing achievement it has become. Georgina Goodlander, right over here. Georgina has been extraordinary in managing all of the complexities of an exhibition of this size and scope and tales. Not to mention that she needed to deal with me and to try to keep me on task, which is no easy feat, once again, for those of you who know me very well. Michael Mansfield and David Gleason have been instrumental in taking ideas that I had, the stories that I wanted to tell, and help craft a phenomenal experience for the world to enjoy. Your dedication to detail, ideas that shape the final exhibition, and contributions, such as Michael's inspired Gamer Faces piece, have made this fantastic exhibition the success it has become. To Dan Sonnet, I know I saw him earlier, he managed to take the massive amount of footage that I collected, I think close to half a terabyte in all, and the over-executed written pieces, Chris, you can't say this, you need to say this, and was able to stitch together the footage that tells the stories I needed to tell. Your professionalism, fantastic editing skills, and patience is greatly appreciated. And to the four of you, I say, it is wonderful to start a project as colleagues and finish as friends. To my friend Patrick O'Rourke, who crafted the extraordinary book with me, I don't know where you are, I can't see, um, but it is a rare gift to work on something so significant with such a very close friend. And to my family, friends, and those who believed in me and cheered me along the way, I thank you for your ever-present support and encouragement. And most importantly, I want to thank my amazing wife of nearly 18 years, Michelle. And to our three wonderful children, Alexandra, Melina, and Thomas. Your support, your support has meant the most of all. There are many times when preparing for this exhibition, came at the expense of time that I could have spent with you. Instead of sitting in front of an editing suite or writing into the wee hours of the morning, it is your understanding, love, and support that allowed me to create something that while just three years in the making, I have been waiting for my whole life. 
Your understanding and patience allowed this to happen for me, and words failed to describe the depth of my gratitude and love for the four of you. And so with this, I have two short parting thoughts to share. First to my children, I want you to understand that if you care enough about something, whatever that may be, and dedicate yourself to giving back to the world, you can harness that to help illuminate and inspire others. And may your lives always be filled with such beauty and inspiration. And lastly, I would ask that you all raise your glass with me and toast the dreamers of dreams, the inspired artists, designers, musicians, and poets that choose to speak to the world through this dynamic and expressive form. Let us toast to the art of video games. Thank you.